In business, the managing director of Kano Electricity Distribution Company, Jamil Guana, says the company had lost energy supply to it by regulators worth about 52 billion naira in 2019. Guana revealed this in Kano while unveiling the new customer strategy and company award and to empowered conference. He explained that Kedco cannot meet its obligations with the serious problem facing them, adding that they, can, they did not find it easy in their revenue collection in 2019. The managing director noted that they had introduced several measures to curtail energy loss and lack of staff commitments to company growth as well as revenue collection. He added that such challenges led to the slowdown of the company in meeting its obligations. And while following the recent signing of the finance bill by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mohamed Buhari, about 20 basic food items, locally manufactured sanitary towels, tuition fees relating to nursery, primary, secondary and tertiary education have been included to the exemption list of goods and services on the VAT. According to the Senior Special Assistant to the Pop President on Media and Publicity, Laolo Akonde. This was part of the efforts to ensure that the cost of living did not rise for Nigerians following changes in the VAT from 5% to 7.5%. The additional exemptions include additives such as honey, bread, cereal, cooking oil, culinary herbs, fish, flour, and starch, fruits, nuts, and water, amongst others. The benefits, the statement said, was for the law which will consolidate efforts already being made in creating an enabling environment for improved private sector participation and contribution to the economy as well as boost states revenue while the new act was the first legislation created to accompany an appropriation act since the return of democracy in 1999 the presidency also reiterated that nigeria increased new vat rate of 7.5 percent was still the lowest in africa and one of the lowest anywhere else in the world it stated that South Africa's VAT was 15%, Ghana was 12.5%, Kenya 16%, Egypt 14%, Rwanda 18% and Senegal had 18%. And also world leaders, chief executives, economists and celebrities would on Tuesday converge in the Swiss mountain town of Davos for the World Economic Forum's annual meeting. This year at the WEF marks its 50th anniversary, participants would address the prospects for trade and global economic growth, as well as the future of multilateralism and the geopolitical order which is faced by challenges. The World Economic Forum Annual Meeting 2020 is expected to focus on how to reduce the long-term debt which is aborting and keep the economy working at a pace that allows for greater inclusion and how to create a global concession on deployment of fourth industrial revolution technologies and avoid a technology war. And that's all on Business News at this hour. I am Irene Obani. Still ahead on Plus TV African News is around up and entertainment and sports. We'll be back in a moment.